more nice. How do you stay encouraged to be kind and nice? Well, well um, I, I don't have to do face to face anymore, and I was on I was on the phone, so the customer service until um, I move into billing. So I'm not have to deal with the public that much anymore. But when I do, I keep a smile on my face, even though they can't see me. But if you learn just to just talk to them and not at them. And when I have somebody that's just out of sort, I say, you know, you know, let's start this conversation over again. And maybe we can come to an understanding. What can I do to help you out? And it seems like at the end of the conversation, that person is apologizing because of, you know, the way that I present myself. Um, and sometimes I can get out of store and I've been told, you know, you need to correct yourself. And um, I always tell people, if you see me out of store and you know that's not me, call me out. Because at that time, I'm going to stop. I'm going to pray. I'm going to reflect. I'm going to figure out why did I come to that person that way? Or why is that person come to me that way? And go back and correct it. And even if I'm not at fault, I learned to say, I'm sorry. If I offended you anyway, let's start over. And that's how I deal with the public to this day, because it's just, you know, when people, you hold a door for somebody or they're standing behind you huffing and puffing because that cashier is not moving quick enough. I just like, you know, you can go ahead and go in front of me. I'm not in a hurry, you know. Tomorrow's my promise. So you go ahead. I'm okay. And then when I do that, they back off. Like, oh no, no, no. That no, you it seems that you're in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry. You can go ahead and I, I'm I'm okay. And you know, I just I learned how to keep my humility and my humble to, you know, show it on my face. And, you know, when we had the mask on, no, you didn't see us with a smile, but now that we can take them off, you know, smile. I was smiling through the mask. I will continue yeah. to smile through the mask when I'm out in public and I still use it, you know, when I'm in public places, more a lot of people, but you know, like being around my corporate workers now, we don't have to wear them at work anymore. So um, I just try to keep that smile on and then I try to show that God is on the yes. outside. Praise God. That's what you do. I just have a couple of more questions. That's what how mm -hmm. you interact and you so kindness. But a compliment that you may have received, what is one that it was just touched your heart? A compliment, <laughs> the best compliment that was ever thrown your way. How well, what was it? I told Mark I wasn't gonna say it, but he said, go ahead and say it. I'm not, I'm okay. And when we first met at Forest, I uh -huh. was, um, I'm still, uh, was the Sunday school secretary. And at the time I was feeding the children every Sunday and he was coming down the hallway. And that's how we met at Forest Baptist Church almost 20 years ago. And he called me pretty lady. I'm like, okay, well, thank you. <laughs> You know, I thought it was kind of corny, but I, I, I've grown on it. So that's the compliment, you know, that sticks to my heart that he always called me pretty lady. Still do to this day. <laughs> so I just thought, you are so corny. <laughs> but that won your heart. And you that's a hard smile because you still smiling <laughs> and laughing that your honey bunny called you pretty lady. And you said, like, hey. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Not in church. <laughs> uh, later on, hey, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> to God be the glory. That's good stuff. <laughs> Ooh, another question, girl. I'm not gonna keep you, but uh, your favorite movie? That I was just. Yeah. I love to hear a person's favorite movie. It could be just one. You know, it could be an old net. Just a favorite movie that you've enjoyed, and and why? What is it? Oh my goodness. Huh? I have to say, I, I just couldn't pick one favorite movie, but okay. this group of movies that I love came from the Kendrick Brothers. War Room, Barker, oh. Courageous, Overcomers. Those are my 
favorite movies when I went through a spiritual warfare because each movie had some kind of impact on me. And if I start one, I'm going to watch them all the way through. And I see, you know, each time I see it, some, I'm getting something different out of, out of, out of it. And, uh, and I try to use that in, in real life. Because we never, like I said, we never know how, what we're going to encounter. You know, war room, you know, I was going through some things that, ooh, I need to write this down, go pray about it. I have a war room in our house now, and I go in there and I pray and um, and I give it over to God and let him take care of it. And then he lets me know it's okay, it's done. So um, those are my really favorite movies from the Kendrick Brothers. I really love them. I'll be glad when they make more movies because I, I can just sit and watch them all day long. But Lauren, as a kid, Lauren. as yeah, but as a kid, and to this day, and I still do it. I love Cinderella. <laughs> I still watch <laughs> Cinderella to this day. That is my favorite movie, also. But those are my favorite movies that I, you know, that I do watch a lot. Girl, you just told me a whole lot about you. Mark <laughs> said, "Hey, pretty lady," and you were Cinderella. He swooped you up. And then the war room and all that gives you the substance to hold on. Look at God. Yes. He knows what he's doing. Yes. You know what? Yes. Girl, yes. so you yes. was Mark Cinderella. Hey, pretty lady. <laughs> so when you see me at church saying, hey, pretty. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> to God be the glory. Right on, he Mark. Did. Peace out, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> he knew God set that up. And then the movies that gives you substance to hold on to, not fictional mm -hmm. stuff that mm, that's good stuff so my last question girlfriend and Lori mm -hmm. I can't thank you enough but right now in this season of your life just one attribute of God if you could highlight it on the biggest billboard that the entire world Ukraine everybody could see anybody everywhere what would that one attribute of God be and why well at work so grateful to have new ideas still coming in this 67 year old head and heart and the energy to fulfill them 2019 healthy heart was given and established and has a mission and the lord is allowing the mission to be fulfilled in his time and now we would desire to help other people through nonprofits. please consider placing an ad on this platform as well as other platforms that we have. Your message, you may want a greeting, however you can help us help others. The small fee that you give to place your ad will allow us to help others. Also, you can donate, and whatever you donate, a percentage of whatever comes into Healthy Heart is going out to a nonprofit. Thank you in advance for your support, and please help us help. And we will switch up the nonprofits, but we need your help. We want it to be maximized. Check out the website. There's a donation button. Thank you in advance. What would that one attribute of God be and why? Well, at work, I have it on my desk and I see it every day when I get up and go to work. Sometimes I work at home, sometimes I go to work. It's Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And just by saying that every day, knowing that I'm about to go out into the world, that we're, you know, finally getting through this pandemic, um, got to have strength. So, you know, by me just saying that every day and, and showing people that it's going to be okay. You may have some good days, you may have some bad days, but have that strength and know that Christ is there for you and you can call on him in a second, even if you have to stop where you're at or you're in your car. I know people probably think I'm crazy when I play my gospel music. I can be screaming at the top of my lungs, window up, window down, singing loud to the Lord or praying loud to the Lord or, or crying to him and, and, I, and I get through it. And uh, like I said, you know, Philippians 4.13, it, it's, it's my heart. It's, 
and like it's on my desk and that's what I see every day when I go into work or before I put my feet on the floor on that floor when I wake up in the morning and I just thank God for what you know he has brought me through these 54 years of me you know I'm getting up I'm going to exercising I'm trying to watch my weight I'm rather great life coach you know Foxy health and wellness my cousin Erica she is encouraging me to to do things that I would not think to do because I'm I'm a very picky eater and she has gotten me trying things like mm, girl I don't know if I want to try that but the way how she showed me how to do it I'm like wow I could have been doing this a long time ago so I thank my cousin Erica for for being my life coach and and helping me get through this and doing yoga with her and you know I, we just that bond love the bond with her and uh, like I said this the Philippians four thirteen will always be my favorite scripture. Praise God, praise God, and His word will not return void. And mm -hmm. sis, you have encouraged me, and I thank you for sharing because I've learned so much more about you that we, I mean, I just thank God. And when you said Sunday, I'll talk to you. I was like, that Sunday, I was like, ah, I wanted to shout. I was like, ah, Laura said, ooh. So I thank you that you would even allow a healthy heart to be, to, to bless us with your presence in health. You have no idea how much this encourages me, even the more to realize that how God's vision is continuing to unfold in my life. And that I just pray that it be a blessing. So anyway, I, we'll we'll say, but uh, ta ta. I just got one, yeah. Please, I just yes, got one thing, thing. No, girl. Um, come on. I just want you know reflect back on my can my breast cancer. I just want to say to women, men, don't be afraid to go to the doctor. Get out, get your physical, get 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 them every year. If, you, if you're scared to go, call me. I will go with you because I know what that experience was. And like I said, if it wasn't for the Lord, my family, my church family, and what I went through and the three pastors that was in my life, Pastor Crittman, Pastor Jamal Williams, and now Pastor Bishop, Combining them three together, a little old school with a little new school, I have learned to to show humility and be humble to one another. And I just want to thank you personally for the impact that you have on my life. Mm -hmm. You know, when I don't see you, I'm like, oh my gosh, first child child, all I had to do was just press a little button. There she is. And just to see you smile mm -hmm. and you pray over us, you, you know, you love on us, you love on our kids every day, and you know, you are a joy in my life. You, I, you, I, you came in my life at the right time, okay. and I love you for it. Continue on doing what you're doing because these segments are a blessing to me, mm -hmm. and I know it's been a blessing to someone else. It may be their first time seeing it, or it may be to where they watch it every time you put somebody out there. But I just want to say, child, I love you. You are my heart. You have made my heart healthy in all these mm -hmm. segments that you do. Girl, you are too kind. That's why, I mean, I've never met a Miss Lori. I know it's only one of us. But when I see your loyalty and your friendship and your genuine heart, you don't have to try to figure you out, girl, because you are who you are. You are giving, you're yeah. kind, you're Thank sweet. You. And then when Thank I you. see you with this group of sisters and that group of sisters, and you don't love in portion, you love in all. And it just I amazes do. me about you. And I watch you. Mm -hmm. I may not be in your world, but when I see <laughs> your love, I'm like, Thank oh, you. my God. Lord, and help me to learn to love more. Yeah, and I don't like the word click, but yeah. I do have my 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 my, my girlfriends. And you, you know. don't slight none of them. And I don't. You love I them don't. all. I love them all. You know, Kim and Erica. I mean, they're just they're a part of me. Yeah. And you said, you know, Taji and Angela and Krishan 
they're my traveling partners. We go everywhere together. And Edge and I had the opportunity to go to New Orleans this past couple weekends ago to a power trip sale. Phenomenal to be around 1,500 women. It was just overwhelming. And then, you know, I have my girlfriends at, at school, at Fern Creek High School. We had that 35 year love as still continuing on to this day to where we'll meet. So I don't sli- I don't slight anybody. You sure don't. And I, I I love it, you know, and watching them, your child raising her child, her children, not child, her children, and the ones that I saw growing up in Forest Baptist, it warmed my heart to see we got another slew of children coming through to where Mark and I love on them. Girl, you can't out love Lori. You gotta get off because I mean you be one up it and sincerely and genuinely one up. I'm trying to love on you and you. Well, I love you and that, and it's true. And it's only mm-hmm. one Lori. And I love you, girl. I love you. Ah, mm. to God be the thank glory. You. This is set up. Thank you. Woo. Yes, it was. And thank you for challenging me to do this because at thank first you. time, you know, you asked. I said, Lord, I don't know if I can. And you asked again, I said, Lord, let me pray about it. And I prayed about it. And I think what got me there is when you did a segment on Sister Lori Dobbins. Oh, my God. Girl, she that showed it. Bless my heart. Well, don't hang up yet. We're going to say cha-cha yes. to come off the air, but I want to ask you something else. Cha-cha yes, from ma'am. cha-cha and Sister Lori. Woo! Cha-cha. 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 <laughs> flows from it.